After raising over $3.5 million on Kickstarter, the world's first floor washing robot vacuum with an all-in-one station is now available and it's called the Eufy S1 Pro. With a futuristic design and features such as a revolutionary always clean mop, ozone generator and 3D matrix eye, it's set to pack a punch in the world of floor cleaning robots. In this video, I'll share my real world experience with using the S1 Pro. For complete transparency, this S1 Pro was supplied to me from Eufy, but this is not a paid video. The links in the description are affiliate links, and I do earn a small commission if you purchase through those at no additional cost to you. Inside the box you get the S1 Pro robot of course, the UniClean base station, two sets of side brushes, Eufy hard floor cleaner, a spare roller mop, spare dustbin filter, spare dust bag, and a cleaning tool. I do like that you get a bunch of spares included so you can keep your floors clean without needing to buy any accessories for quite some time. As you can see the Eufy S1 Pro is more of a square design and lacks a top LiDAR turret that almost every other Robovac has. This means it can get under furniture as low as 10 centimeters. I was curious to see if by hiding the LiDAR module inside the body of the robot would affect its ability to navigate around the home. The S1 Pro features a quick mapping feature where the robot goes out and quickly generates a map of your home before a full clean can commence. I could tell straight away by the map it was generating that hiding the LiDAR module had no effect on its ability here. It quickly made an accurate map of my home and divided the rooms up as well. With the map made, it was time to see how it went with navigating my home. When cleaning, the S1 Pro accurately moves back and forth ensuring it covers the entire surface of your floor and then goes and cleans the perimeter of the room before moving on to the next room. For obstacle avoidance, the S1 Pro features a 3D matrix eye setup, which uses binocular infrared cameras to observe the contours of obstacles from multiple angles and generates a 3D model with millimeter accuracy. For the test subjects, you can see just how well it recognized and avoided the obstacles. Even a single thin cable on the floor was avoided. It gently performed its limbo trick set at just 10 centimeters and traveled up and down the coke can alleyway without fuss. In actual real world cleaning, this seems to be the most gentle robot vacuum I've tested. And what I mean by that is it does so well at recognizing your environment, it very rarely touches your furniture, but manages to get right up close to everything to clean thoroughly. And because the sensor array uses infrared light, it works just as well in the dark too. From my testing and experience with the Eufy S1 Pro, the navigation and especially the obstacle avoidance would have to be number one. The S1 Pro features a single rubber main brush design, two side brushes, and has a maximum suction power of 8,000 pascals. For testing the vacuuming ability, I spread some oats, rice, and even flour on my hard floors here and set the S1 Pro to perform a two-pass clean at maximum vacuum power. As you can see, it did a great job of picking everything up and the mop did fantastic with the flour too. The side brushes work well to clean along the edges of skirting boards with the only noticeable issue was corner cleaning. I think due to the square design it doesn't quite get as close into the corners as other Robovacs. I then tested it on carpet with oats, rice and some hair as well. Two passes here seem to do a pretty good job at picking everything up except on the very edge where the carpet rolls over. But the only way I can clean this is with a handheld vacuum and nozzle attachment. A lot of the hair did get tangled around the side brush and on the ends of the main brush. Both of these pop out easily for you to remove the tangles. Overall, vacuuming performance is certainly good enough for everyday use. The mopping function of the S1 Pro is what sets it apart from other robot floor cleaners on the market. Instead of a vibrating pad or spinning discs, it uses a roller mop that rotates to mop your floor. It's kind of similar to a paintbrush roller. As the mop rotates, it is kept damp with clean water from the onboard water tank and the brush itself gets scraped along its length to remove any debris and dirty water, so the mop is continually being cleaned as it cleans your floors. Yuffie calls this their always clean mop and it's basically the same type of design as dedicated manual wet floor cleaners like those from Bissell and Dyson. With the mop being constantly cleaned inside the robot, this also helps prevent any cross contamination from room to room as well. On my floor here I have some dried and fresh coffee, some coke, orange juice and ketchup and I set the S1 Pro to do two passes over the area with the deep mopping setting. As you can see after just the first pass it pretty much cleaned everything off and by the second pass the tiles were well cleaned with just some residue in the deeper grout lines remaining. I've had the S1 Pro complete a full clean of my hard floors quite a few times now and each time I'm surprised at the colour of the dirty water at the end of the run. I think it's definitely cleaning more dirt off the floors than other robot floor cleaners I've tested in the past. 
On the low water use setting, it is very efficient with water usage, but if you frequently use the deep mop setting, the floor is noticeably wetter and you will find you need to refill the fresh water tank quite regularly. With the roller mop being basically the full width of the robot itself, that seems to help with a more thorough clean too, as essentially it allows for the mop to make two passes over your floor as it cleans. This also allows for closer edge cleaning around the perimeter of the room. The roller mop retracts into the body of the robot to allow it to pass over carpets without getting them wet. Yuffie says it will lift up to 12mm, so mainly only beneficial for low pile carpet. This roller mop design does come with some additional maintenance though, as it has an onboard particle filter that will need to be cleaned manually every now and then. Overall, it will probably have to be the best performing mopping robot I've tested so far. The UniClean base station is the all-in-one emptying, cleaning, washing and drying station for the S1 Pro. At the end of a cleaning run, the S1 Pro will make its way back to the station to take care of some self-cleaning. It will empty the onboard dustbin into a replaceable dust bag situated inside the base station, then the ozone generator activates, sanitizes the clean water and uses that along with the installed cleaning solution to refill the water tank inside the S1 Pro and to perform a clean on the roller mop. The dirty water gets sucked out of the S1 Pro's onboard water container and siphoned into the dirty water tank at the back of the base station. Once the roller mop has been cleaned, the base station starts drying the mop using 55 degree hot air to keep any damp smells away. Yuffie specifically made the water tanks semi-transparent to make it easier to see the water level, but it also means you can see the ozone generator working and it's such a cool sci-fi feature so I'm glad they didn't hide it away. On top of the base station is a small display which indicates what action the station is performing and there are three touch sensitive buttons to control the basics of the S1 Pro without needing to go into the app. If the station needs any user maintenance like refilling the clean water tank or emptying the dirty water tank, it lights up red to alert you to that. The debris tray at the back of the station needs a periodic clean and it's just a matter of lifting it out and rinsing it. Overall it's an interesting design and because it isn't as wide but rather taller than other Robovac stations, it appears less bulky against your wall which may fit in better with your furniture. From my experience, using the Eufy app to control the S1 Pro has been straightforward. The app has never crashed on me and all the settings available have explanations on what they do. You can choose to run an auto clean of your whole home, specify only certain rooms or even specify just certain zones of your home to clean. You have the ability to set cleaning schedules, amend auto empty and mop washing frequencies and change some obstacle avoidance settings. There is a comprehensive maintenance guide with time frames on when you should clean or replace certain components too. Overall, the app has enough features to get by, but it's definitely lacking some of the more finer control settings you get with other Robovac manufacturers. So with all that, what do I think about the Eufy S1 Pro? Well, as shown, both the mopping and obstacle avoidance abilities are fantastic. Dried on stains and even wet spills are all mopped efficiently and the S1 Pro navigates confidently around even small cables that would otherwise trip up other Robovacs. So to me, this says it would be fantastic in a busy family home, along with any home with a lot of hard floors. With the excellent obstacle avoidance, it's very much a set and forget type of cleaner. You don't have to worry about picking up things off the floor before sending it out. As for my negatives, well, the mop lifting ability over carpet seemed a bit too low for my liking, so if you have a lot of carpeted areas, you would need to be sure to set no mop zones to keep them dry, but be aware it won't vacuum them first before going on to wet the mop, it just retracts the damp mop over those no mop zones. The app did seem a little light on features too, it has enough to keep your floors clean, but if you want deeper control over settings, you won't find that here. My only other criticism is the power draw when drying the mop. It consumes around 180 watts for three to four and a half hours depending on the drying setting, and there is no option to turn off auto dry. I can only assume because the mop is so dense and holds water, it takes a long time to dry, but if you're running it say twice a day, the power consumption could start to add up. If you think the Eufy S1 Pro is the most suitable robot floor cleaner for your home, check out the links in the description on where to buy. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below, and as always, thanks for watching.